It's been a political football for decades. The streaming of grade nine students straight across the province of Ontario. Now it used to be known as basic or advanced. Now it's applied or academic. Multiple studies have shown that the practice can actually stunt the growth and development of children from marginalized and racialized communities. And today the provincial government appearing to try and rewrite some of their own history and finally abolish streaming all grade nines right across Ontario. There's a disproportionate levels of black students and racialized students are streamed. Uh, you know, when 45% of those students are uh, not graduating um, and uh, majority and 33% are not pursuing post-secondary education, we have a problem. Destreaming isn't a new thing. In the early 90s, Bob Ray's NDP government destreamed grade nine and reworked grade six, seven and eight. Later that decade, when the provincial conservatives took over, they reintroduced streaming in Ontario. In 1993, I was actually a grade nine English teacher who was asked to do de-streaming. And I thought it was the most amazing thing possible. It didn't work for a number of reasons. We probably needed to stay with it longer. When we then moved to putting it back and we called it academic and applied, that unfortunately resembled the model we used to have, which was called advanced, general and basic. So in some ways, all we did back in the late 90s was put back the old system. Ontario is currently the only province in the country that still sends its youngest high school students into either essential, applied or academic streams. It's a point the Premier made sure to jump on at his daily media briefing. You're asking a 14-year-old child to make a decision in grade 9 where the rest of their, their high school career and, and post-secondary schools that they're going to. And it's just, I just don't think it's right. It's a broken system. I'm a university professor. Where are the black professors? Where are the diverse bodies? They're not there because they've been streamed away from those professions. It's the people who put, create streaming that are racist, you know, and it's, it's a racist policy. While many who've spent decades fighting for equality in education are applauding the move from Queen's Park, they're also highlighting the belief that systemic racism in our schools begins in kindergarten. What about elementary schools where we know that the curriculum and teachers' attitudes towards students oftentimes determine how they see themselves, how they see their opportunities. The responsibility is on the adults, the educators, the system to serve each and every student. Conservatives were unable to say when de-streaming will take hold across the province, but for some boards like Toronto, it's been years in the making. About three years ago, we made a system commitment that all high schools will move towards an academic pathway approach. It was a four-year plan, we're three years in, and we're about three quarters of the way down that road. The Ontario government also announcing today that they're getting rid of suspensions for kids as young as kindergarten all the way up to grade three. Some educators I spoke with today say it's an important step when it comes to handling young children with more empathy and compassion.